A lot of times something that a community thinks is a big deal and something that um, really affects them, they believe that everyone knows about that issue. And a lot of times that's not the case. So a lot of um, real local issues that people here care a lot about that they think is stopping businesses from looking at the region, um, a lot of times those businesses aren't even aware of those issues. Um, and sometimes when those businesses are made aware of those issues, it's not as much of a big deal to them because they operate um, across the world in all different types of conditions. Probably the biggest opportunity that we have when we market New Orleans is that not a lot of people know about doing business in New Orleans. So it's just a lack of education about the resources and the assets that we have in the city. Um, when we get out there and start talking to people about what's available across you know, tech and, and bio and the port and all these different industries that make up our economy, a lot of people don't know that those are big drivers of our economy. So when we get out there and tell the story, it's not that people have negative perceptions about our community, it's that they really don't know much about our community. So what you think may be a huge deal to people outside may not be on their radar at all. I think we have succeeded in branding the city as a place to do business. We really never had a positive or a negative brand as far as doing business in New Orleans. I think we've succeeded with a number of announcements with DXC, with iMerit, with Accruent just this week. Um, when you start to get a number of announcements, you start to see a trend. And when you see a trend, you realize, hey, this isn't just luck. This isn't just a one-off decision. Um, some of the fundamental things that businesses look for are here in New Orleans. And what is working for one company is also working for a number of other companies. So that's when you really start to see validation. The best way to brand your community is by saying, look at the success we've had based off of these specific measures. So New Orleans this year is turning 300 years old. The New Orleans brand will continue to look different next year and 20 years and 100 years from now as it did from last year, 20 years ago and 100 years ago. Um, you know, I think the key to us surviving as a city is that we're always adapting to change. And I think, um, you know, as we move into being more of a tech friendly city, that's just moving along with the rest of the world. You know, I mean, we were founded as a port city. We continue to have a large segment of our economy um, driven by the port of New Orleans, which is just a few blocks from us. I don't think that will ever go away. You know, technology, I don't think that will ever go away. That is a part of our world. And if you go back and look at, you know, what technology is, technology was the cotton gin and technology was, you know, the the agricultural stock markets that we had in New Orleans, as well as the way people built ships um, for World War II. So just because it's, you know, technology that's related to the digital world now, it, it doesn't mean that New Orleans has always been changing. And I think if we have the attitude that we're always ready to change in the future, I think we'll be okay. It's definitely a key tool that we use. Um, we will bring in businesses and you know, the best thing that we can do is connect them with people who live here and are, who are doing business here, even if they're not doing business in the same industry. When you talk to someone who gets up and, and you know, has a beautiful commute down St. Charles Avenue and comes downtown and, and works steps away from the French Quarter, and, um, you know, those are, that's a different type of life than most people in the United States have. So it's really key to be able to have those ambassadors talk to people who are unfamiliar with the community and say, you know, oh, this is a great company, you'll be fine here, but by the way, there are all these benefits that you may see as benefits, but you don't even realize how much you'll have a different lifestyle in a positive way. Um, so the ambassadors really help us make that personal connection. They also help us with the rest of the business community. You know, I mean, when we have all of these people um, doing business in New Orleans, and even if they're working in a totally different industry, they're traveling for work, they're doing business with companies outside of the city. If they can be armed with some of those positive facts about our economy, and you know, spread some of that message throughout their industries, that's a great thing.